Welcome back to Living 808. Excited to introduce to you two Hawaii residents that were part of the first ever U.S. team to compete at the CMAS World Championships. They came home with national records, Daniel Koval's deepest dive, they're free divers, 335 feet. Kristen Kuba, who is relatively new to the sport, 230 feet. The U.S. free diving national record holders, and they are here joining us now. Congratulations. You guys are crazy. Thank you. Uh, we were talking <laughs> during the break that that's just amazing that you guys are able to do that. And, and you said to hold your breath to go down that far takes how long? Uh, it's a little over a three-minute dive. So. <laughs> Am I wrong when I say that that is crazy, but you guys are awesome. Uh, t tell me real quick, how, how long have you guys been free diving? Um, I've been free diving, well, I've been holding my breath since I was a little <laughs> kid, I guess. You know, we all practice holding our breath in the pool yep. or in the bathtub. So uh, it wasn't until I was around 12 years old where my dad got me a Hawaiian sling for Christmas, and then I started actually diving and you know, holding my breath in the ocean. And then it was just this new place that I could explore mm -hmm. and endless possibilities. So. What about you? Um, I really started it all recently, just about four years ago. Yeah. I just got into the sport. And um, yeah, I started out spearfishing first. And when I took my first course, I was like instantly hooked to free diving. So I just I, couldn't stop. I guess it's great that you guys are a couple because it's like, hey, uh, honey. I'm going to go ahead and hold my breath. Why don't you just kind of stay with me? Is that kind of how you got into it, I'm, I bet, right? It's like you got to hold your breath, too, and watch him. Yeah, pretty much. That's, yeah, that's, she's my safety, so what anything you, happens. What do you guys love most about free diving in the sport? Um, for me, it is uh, the sink phase. So um, the sink phase is on your way down when you're below 30 meters or 100 feet, your lungs get so compressed where you don't need to kick anymore. So you just start sinking to the bottom of the sea. And mm -hmm. it's a sensation of feeling like you're flying. So it's just my favorite feeling. It's just so. kind of free falling under the sea. That's mm -hmm. <clears throat> We're seeing video now of you going down and, and, it, and it is somewhat effortlessly, effortless, effortless going down, right? It's uh, not very physical, but it's the coming up part that's right. going to be tough. So on the way down, I'm just trying to relax as much as possible and keep equalizing. And then I get to the bottom, and then the work starts to uh, come. I have to pull my way back to the surface. So this was my free immersion dive during the CMOS World Championships. And, uh, yeah, it's... A long way back to the surface. I have a question for both of you. It's, it's one thing to just hold your breath and say, hey, let's hold our breath the longest under the water. It's another thing to get into a sport like this, and it, and it has become a sport. Yeah. Um, but how do, you, I mean, how do you teach yourself something like this? How do you teach yourself the different phases of what it takes to go down and then come back up? Um. Uh, well, most people would actually just uh, get into taking a course. Mm -hmm. um, it can be a dangerous sport if you're not yeah. properly trained, but once you actually learn about the human physiology and what happens to your body under the water and what can happen, mm -hmm. um, it's very safe and it's really easy to learn all of the safety and um, information about what your body's capable of doing in the water. What are you thinking, this is you, what are you thinking about right now when you're going down? And obviously the fins are a lot longer than, say, a normal uh, uh, fin. But mm -hmm. what are you thinking about going down right now? Uh, for me... And you actually are using some physical energy to go down. Yes. Yeah, yeah so for me, um, after I stopped kicking, kicking and hit my sink phase, I just focus on relaxing the whole time. Just making sure every single muscle in my body is completely relaxed so I can just easily sink down to my target depth for that day. I, I have a couple more questions for you guys, and then I, I want to mm -hmm. find out how someone else can, so, a, a, young, a young kid that may be interested in this, that may be good at this, uh, because you know, we all, we've got, we're, we're surrounded by water, and kids do swim a lot here mm. in the islands. But I want to know, what, um, do you intend to dive any deeper? I mean, what, what's next? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I mean, this is only my third year competing on the international level. So I'm actually sort of in the beginning of my career. Wow. And, um, yeah, I f on a few of my dives actually in training, I felt like I can keep going deeper. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to keep going at it. <laughs> 
see how deep I can actually go. <laughs> where, where do you guys train? Where do you find water deep enough to do this? We have um, a protected bay in Kona called Honano Bay, mm -hmm. and um, it's, like I said, it was, it's a completely protected bay, and the depths you can reach are usually about 80 meters. So um, 260 feet. Okay. Yeah, so. and uh, it's super easy. It's um, <laughs> just a quick, like, short swim out to that depth, and oh, okay. we don't get any waves, not it's much very current, protective. very low wind, so mm -hmm. that's where we like to train. If it was a secret spot, it's not a secret spot anymore. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much. How does somebody get uh, more information? How can somebody learn more about, about this sport and then maybe even get into it themselves? Yeah, so I actually teach freediving when I'm not competing. Okay. Uh, that's also what I do for a living. So I have a school, a deep freediving instruction. So they can look it up on uh, Google, mm -hmm. deepfreediving.com. Uh, so I teach courses pretty much every two weeks on Oahu when I'm not competing. And uh, I also teach in Kona. I'll travel around sometimes to teach. So uh, th it's the best way for someone to actually start their road in freediving. As uh, we discuss the physiology, we discuss all the safety in the first class. Actually, on the first day of the course, I get people holding their breath <laughs> for up to three minutes. Wow. And the second day is diving to 20 meters. And then there are more advanced courses uh, that we teach as well. Uh, so. We just had it up on the screen, but I just want to repeat <laughs> it. And Kristen, maybe you can tell us uh, your, the, your website. So uh, folks can maybe go check it out. So it's www.deepfreediving.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And uh, then we also have an athlete, uh, uh, athlete website, Dan and Kristen, freedive.com. Thank you guys for so. being here. Congratulations, Thank national you so record much. holders. We appreciate you being here with us on Living It Away. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right, coming up next. The